Alrighty guys, my name's Edgar. Welcome to Go Fast RC. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded a video onto YouTube. Um, I've just been so busy with school and work and just honestly having fun with the cars that I haven't picked up the camera in forever. There's the camera I film with, and you can see she's got a she's got a layer of dust on her. So yeah, um I got something freaking badass. You guys already saw it, so let's just get straight into it. So, this is a Low C5T I bought. I actually bought it yesterday afternoon after I got after I got off work. And I'm really excited. This truck is so cool. Um, I bought this off one of my friends. Um, Joey, if you're watching this, I appreciate the deal, man. I'm in love with the truck, and I can't wait to start working on it and uh, making it race ready. So, yeah. This truck, I bought the truck for a really, really awesome deal. Um... Believe it or not, it came with a remote as well as the Spectrum receiver that comes with them stock. So I'll be able to hook up my fail safe and all that stuff in there. Um, it came with Proline blockades on the truck with 1.0 wheels. And then it came with um, Fugitives on 2.0 wheels. So all of them are basically brand new. Um, they're dated back to 2019. They don't feel like they are drying up are dry rotting or anything like that so yeah that saves me like almost 200 dollars in race tires just right there just for one set so um it also came with a body um the lexan itself is act is i'm gonna be honest it's in rough shape um you guys can see the lexan it's in pretty rough shape um but the most important part is that the cage is completely intact um i'm going to be doing a 30 degree north um indestructible body i don't remember if that's what they, what they call it but it's made out of that material um i'm going to be doing that body on there and it saves me gosh like close to 90 dollars buying the cage and the body is like 200 just the panels is like 30 so actually my math is wrong but i'm not going to do the math because that's going to take too much time um so yeah, just to get perspective, I am short, but this body goes all the way up, up to my hip. The cage does. Um, I do also plan on getting mud flaps for the body too, just because I think the mud flaps look badass. So, um, yeah. So let's get into the truck. So it's by no means in perfect condition. It is a driven truck with a fair amount of time on it. So it's got things like broken bumpers, broken rear mount right here. The actual bumper itself is fine. It's just the brace that hooks into the that ties into the chassis is broken. Um, all the boots on the every single shock is either completely gone or it's like super 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 badly cracked. So um, as well as the boots that go on the drive shafts front and rear, hooking to the front and rear diffs those boots are completely gone so um that doesn't really matter though because i'm going to be going through the entire truck and um replacing the boots on the shocks and the drive shafts replacing the bumpers um i am going to get rebuild kits for the front center and rear diff as well as for all four shocks um so it's going to be like o-rings and gaskets for the diffs and the little plastic spaces that go in the shocks um, all that's going to be replaced brand new, um, as well as I'm going to refresh all the fluid, obviously. Um, I'm not 100% sure what diff fluids I'm going with yet, um, but I talked to one of the guys at the track, at our local Fiscale track, and um, he's running 32 and a half in the front and 30 in the rear, so I want to ask him what dips I should run. Um, the servos work, all the running gear works, the engine runs as well. This is, if I remember right, he said an O'Neill full mod. So it's ported, polished, the whole nine. Um, it's got an aftermarket clutch carrier on it. I'm not sure entirely what clutch is on it. Um, you guys can see, obviously, it's missing hardware, but it's not that big of a deal considering the price that I got it for. It also came with a full tank of gas. I don't know if you guys can see that. Came with the full tank of gas. Um... He says it's 25 to 1 mix. I'm not entirely sure what oil he's using. And I don't, 
I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be running this gas that he gave me, but it's still a really nice gesture um, to give me the gas. So, um, yeah, this truck is freaking sweet. Um, I got it for an amazing deal. Um, so you can see all the miscellaneous stuff, the radio. It's, it's awesome. I'm so excited. Um, I didn't have much room in my bedroom before and, uh, now, now I don't have any room in my bedroom now, but it's okay. I got a truck that I've wanted for almost seven years now. I finally have one. So I've been wanting since I've been really into the nitros. I've been wanting to kind of step up and move to the fist scales and I finally did. So I'm really excited. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more on the truck. Um, you guys want to see the rebuild process. You want to see a price breakdown or whatever like that. Um, you guys want to see me race the truck because I do plan on racing this truck at my local fist scale track. Um, so yeah, let me know. If you guys want to see updates on the truck, follow me on Instagram at go.fast.rc, all lowercase. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you later. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. See ya.